And I want to thank all of you for, for coming to, to this event. Um, this has been for us on the committee a remarkable journey that, that started in September uh, or October as we started defining themes for this conference. And I want to just start with, with a group I'm going to thank multiple times a day, the, the program committee. If you all, you all have a program, and you look on the second page down at the bottom, the, the planning committee, there's a, there is a uh, significant group of people, about 14 altogether, who have been working on putting this program together. And I'd really like to thank that, that group for just the spectacular job that they've all, all done. So thank you. Also, on the front page, we have a group of, of companies who uh, uh, agreed to sponsor this program. As you know, in the past, uh, we've been working jointly with the Silicon Valley Leadership Group. We, we both had somewhat different goals for our conferences, so we decided to, to split up. Uh, and uh, so uh, we started with, with no sponsors at the beginning of the time, and I'm I'm very uh, appreciative of, of this group who who stepped up to uh, to support what we've done. So thank you all for, for the sponsors of, of this. And then finally, we have a group of of, of really great speakers, uh, and I think you're all gonna gonna be very pleased with what you hear. We have one change to the program. Um, there's there's uh, bad news and good news. Uh, the bad news is that uh, Harry Reid um, decided that, that members of the Senate should be voting today uh, on the floor. And um, protests, I decided that if I were to call Harry Reid and protest, he probably wouldn't listen. Uh, so uh, Jeff Bingaman is not going to be able to be, be here at the end of the day. That's the bad news. The good news is, is he's handled this in, in just the sort of classy way that you'd expect of, of somebody uh, like Jeff. And uh, when he called me yesterday, he, he uh, uh, offered to send his chief of staff, who some of you might know, Bob Simon, who just spectacularly good, um, many years of experience, probably one of the, the, the top uh, congressional uh, staff members today, and he will be uh, giving the comments on behalf of the senator and be prepared to answer questions and answers on behalf of the senator at the end. So, so we'll, we'll have the same substance, even though uh, Jeff is not gonna be able to be here. Uh, administratively, as you all know, food's going to be outside. There's booths outside uh, from our sponsors. Um, make sure during the networking uh, you get a chance to go in and look at those very interesting set of, set of materials. You, it would be useful, though, to know where the parallel sessions are going to be. So if you look in your brochure, and you notice that there is a left column and two center col and, and left, center, and right column uh, of the uh, three parallel sessions. Everything in the left column is going to be in the main room here. The, the center and the right columns uh, are going to be in the Fisher Conference Center, so you walk all the way down to the end of this hall, and you'll see signs directing which sessions in in which of those, which of those rooms. Um, so all of, of course, all the plenary sessions will be held in, in, this, in this room. So what are the themes that we really uh, try to look at? First, there's a, a lot of attention to energy efficiency, and we wanted to give you images of what people are doing in energy efficiency, and, and many in multiple different types of organizations. So uh, for those of you who are into that particularly, there should be many, many opportunities to follow. Um, 
we wanted everybody to see not just what's happened in policy now in energy, but what's coming down the road. What are some of the, the, the issues that you may have to be thinking about and dealing with? And we have uh, um, multiple sessions in uh, covering those. Uh, important thing in Silicon Valley is new technologies and new business models, uh, new ways of operating both in government um, and uh, private sector. Um, some of them are some, as new, some of them are just uh, evolving, but we want uh, opportunities for you to see some of the new, new technological advances as, as well as some of the business models. And, and then some of the things emerging in the energy system and where the bright spot and really the, the, the very fundamental change we're seeing is in natural gas, and so we're, we're having a session on on what's changing there. So I hope you all um, are ready for a good stimulating day uh, of presentations. And without any more introduction, I'd like to bring up our, our first speaker, uh, uh, William, Perry. William Perry. And if Bill, you would, you would come up here and I will uh, continue the introduction. Seat there, and I'll, I'll there. Bill to me is a very special person. Um, as 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 many of you know, that Bill has had a long history here as an entrepreneur, um, founding um, at least one company, uh, ESL. Um, founding other organizations uh, in the energy area. As a public servant, as the uh, Secretary of Defense, and I like to think of him as truly the Secretary of Defense, not the Secretary of Offense. And um, very, very spectacular job in bringing the military up to the technological uh, prowess that uh, keeps our military at the head of the, head of the pack. Um, stealth technology, he was a person whose decisions uh, were instrumental in leading to stealth technologies, as well as to, um, at a later point when he was Secretary of Defense, that was, be that was uh, before he was Secretary of Defense, his first stint in, in the Pentagon, and as Secretary of Defense, he took the lead in bringing electronic uh, and digital communication to the fighting forces in a much deeper and more profound way than they had in the past. Um, he's also uh, been a scholar. He still is a scholar. Um, he is, uh, leads uh, a activities here in preventive defense at Stanford University. And he, along with uh, George Schultz and, and uh, several other luminaries have been uh, waging a campaign in which they've really made progress in, in moving towards ridding the, ridding the world of nuclear weapons. Um, more than that, I like to think of him as a friend, and I'm very, uh, uh, very glad that his wife, Lee Perry, is, is here in the front table uh, coming to join us. Uh, so I'd like to... Uh, now bring him up in his most recent role as chairman of the Secretary of Energy Advisory Committee. So I'd like to bring up Bill Perry. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Bill.